Hello, everyone. Welcome to lesson five. I'm Miss Eileen. Today we'll talk about digit and place value. But first of all, let's do some review. In the previous class, we talked about number lines, number patterns, and sequences. Okay, so let's find out these missing numbers. We have nine, twelve. 15, 18. So we need to find out what happened here. 9, so we count it up. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we counted up by three numbers. So therefore, count it up by three numbers, count it up by three numbers. And so when you count it up, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so you ended up in 21. The second one, 50 is over here, and there comes the missing number, we don't know. Okay, let's look at 70, 80, 90, 100. So the numbers are keep going up, okay? Increasing, they're increasing. Now, by how much? From 70 to 80 to 90 to 100. So it's not hard to see that it increased by 10, okay? So from 50, out of 10, all right, 60. And the last one, we have 65 here, and we have 60, so numbers are getting smaller. So, by how much? 65, 64, 63, 62, 61, and 60. So you count it down by five, okay? Now, let's check our answer. From 50 to 45, yes same okay count it down by five so let's do this here from 60 we count it down by five okay 59 58 57 56 and 55 so that's how we get our answers and here comes our new lesson how many digits are there so we talk about digit Okay, I'll give you some example down here. There's a five. Five is one digit. Okay, how about 48? 48, look, four, that's one digit. Eight, that's another digit. So we say that this number has two digits. Okay, two digits. Now, moving on, 326. So three, that's one digit, two, another, and finally six. So we have three digits in total. Now, why do we learn about digit? Because each digit stands for different things. Such as, let's look at this. Oh, I have a five here, I have a 57 here, I have a 539 here. Every number has five, okay? Every number has five. But does those, all those fives, are they the same? Hmm, let's look at the first one. A five, yeah, it just stands for five, right? It's one, two, three, four, five. But how about this? This is a 57, so that five actually is not a five anymore. It's 50. And how about 539? Similar, 5 does not stand for 5 only, it stands for 500, okay? So to help you understand better, we have another topic, it's called the place value, okay? So just now, we saw three numbers over here. Now, last class, we learned about the ones, the tens, today we'll add up the hundreds, okay? So, for ones, we have five, number five, which gives us just five ones, okay? If you want to draw five, we can draw five as well. There's one, two, three, four, five, okay? That's five ones. Now, how about 57? Remember last time about the goldfish? We have five tens in total, five tens, which is 50. Okay, and then 7, so we have 57 here. 
So 7 is in 1's place, and then 5 is in the 10's place. How about the last one? It's 100, okay? So 500. So we put the 5 in the 100's place, while 3 in the 10's place, and 9 in the 1's place, okay? 539. So that's 500's, 3 10's, and 9 1's. It might be a little bit difficult to understand, so let's do some practice, okay? The digit 7 in each number stands for... Hmm. Okay, before we answer that, okay, tell me, how many digits are in these numbers? This one? Only one, so one digit. This one? One, two, two digits. This one? One, two, three. So three digits. Okay, now, the digit 7 in each number stands for what value? Okay, what value does they stand for? Now, number 7, so of course, it stands for 7, nothing else. How about 74? As you read, 70, so it's actually 70 instead of 7, okay, 70. And then 753. Okay, again, we have 700. Okay, 700. Okay, the second practice. In this number, can you read it? Yes, we can. 851. The place value of the digit 8 is blah, blah, blah. The value of the digit 5 is blah 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 okay so let's draw something here remember the block that i draw suppose we have three digits here so i draw three digits okay three digits now starting from the right this is can you tell me ones okay ones and this is Tens. And finally, we have hundreds. Okay. So let's put them in. We can have the eight over here, and then five, and then one. Okay. So we have one, ones, five, tens, eight hundreds that's clear so let's look at the question now the place value of the digit eight where's the place value of digit eight let's find eight first okay eight is here so the place value of digit eight is hundreds right now the second the value of the digit 5 is, okay, place value and the value, they're different, okay? Place value, I'm just asking which place it is, okay? Which place? So that's why I answer hundreds here. But if I ask you the value of digit 5 means what does 5 stand for, okay? What does 5 stand for here? 5 actually stands for 5 tens which gives us the number 50, okay? So you need to be careful of these two words. One, place value. It just asks you about this, okay? The place value. This is the place value. Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, <laughs> that's ugly. I'm sorry. I'm not good at drawing at all. Okay. And the value asks you about what number does it stand for, okay? What number? What number? Okay, so that's the end of today's class. See you! Bye!